What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle, where I found my way back to the house and the shadows are undulating, they're kind of having the time of their lives as far as I can tell. I'm not even sure if I should be censoring that, I think the shadows are having way too much fun, so I'm just not going to look at it, we're going to walk a different way. I made it back to our house and I remarked this as the place that we want to go back to. Hopefully this is where we end up at the end of each episode, I'm not really sure why I would light a fire. I don't know how that helps me, I'm wondering if something bad happens when it gets dark outside, that's really what I'm starting to ponder. But, let's equip our gun, just in case. We've got a gat and we can make them scat if need be. What do we want to explore today? Well, I think what I'm going to explore is going to be off this way. Now that I know that I've marked my house as like a permanent place that we can go hang out at, I actually don't feel so bad about getting off the beaten path and just kind of being all over the place. And so that's what I'm going to do. My exploration is going to match my commentary for a little bit, and I'm going to let fly in whichever direction really brings me the most pleasure. However, do not do that in a public place. Letting fly wherever it brings you pleasure in a public place is a terrible idea. Police officers tend to have a problem with that. They tend to nightstick people like that quite feverishly, I suppose. Let's look for some houses or something that we can loot. Anything out here? I mean, the oh, there's something over there. There's something we can hunt, possibly. Let's see. We could always use some more meat to feed ourselves and to feed the dogs. So if I can get myself a suitable source of critter vittles... I think, I thought I saw a pig over here, that's very strange, where did it go? I totally know that I saw it. Piggy? Piggy, where art thou? Hmm. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe I'm just cray cray, I swear to god I saw- I thought I just heard him. Hmm. Piggy? Got one of these weird Spetsnaz pigs running around. He's using his KGB training. He's hiding in the tree somewhere. Hmm. I don't trust this. I heard- I know I heard a boar. I know I heard him. He made a noise. It was like a squeak kind of noise. I know that it was there, and I just can't locate it now. I was actually a little bit excited by the prospects of getting myself a little bit of extra meat for the dogs for later. Is that him right there? Or is that like the bottom of a tree? Here, I'll point it out to you. You see, let me, I'm going to get off, hold on. You see right, th oh, I think it's just, okay, it's popping. Never mind, never mind, just a merry little popping. Let's go ahead and go up the hill. Not to fetch a pail of water, of course, but simply to see what's there. Might as well go over the mountain. I feel kind of bad for the dogs, but you know, thus is the joy of being a human master. Enjoy pulling my fat ass up a hill. I don't mind, go ahead. I won't slow you down. Don't mind my lack of weight. It's fine. <laughs> Dogs are like, this is bullshit. He hasn't fed us once today. Been running up a hill for half the day, and he's just going to sit back there talking trash. This is what happens when you're born the wrong species, my friends. This is what happens. I don't make the rules, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to live by them, especially when they're in my favor. It's actually kind of relaxing, honestly, just as long as I don't have to do any of this work. I figure at some point we'll probably get stuck in a ditch, and at that point they're just going to be like, eh, and the dogs are just going to give up and it's going to become my problem. I'm assuming that this road even goes somewhere. I don't really know that the map is fully populated with things for us to explore. Let's go over by the edge. Here, go off by the edge of the cliff. Yeah, don't fling me off the cliff, though. I know that I've been taunting you and mostly... Stop, doggies! Eh! Alright, doggies. No sabotage here. Well, I hope there's something over here. It would be a little bit disappointing if we went all this distance and didn't find anything. Frankly, it looks a little barren. Which is a disappointing factor because we could obviously use more bullets, more animals, just about anything we could track down to be fair. I would take granola bars in any flavor to be honest. I would eat the ones with the dates in them too. I like, there's a place down in Southern California, way out in the desert, out in the middle of nowhere, called the China Ranch. And if you're ever down there, you should go to the China Ranch. It's a date farm, way out in the middle of the desert. Like, seriously, it is out in the boonies. Like, it, it's not hard to find. If you're in the area, it's pretty much the only thing there. And they've got lots of signs up along the highway, but you should go to China Ranch if you're ever down in Southern California, out in the Mojave, or er, wait, out in Death Valley. There we go. If you're ever out in Death Valley, is that a deer right th Hold on. Did I get him? Why is he still alive? Hmm. The deer has Kevlar. This is unfortunate. 
I wasn't expecting to go up against tactical deer this early in my adventures. We do have an assault rifle. The trees are moving oddly as though they were in a Tim Burton movie. Ugh, you're gonna make me come ride you down. Alright. Back to the vehicle. I was hoping that he would ignore this. I think I might have hit the tree or something. I don't know. Oh, he's taunting me now. He's looking right at me. Hmm. There we go. I mean, I winged him, but it only takes one bullet, so that works for me. Let's ride the doggies down here. Doggies, it's not nap time. It is time for us to go get you some dinner. You should be excited about this prospect. Pingle? Dingle? I know. Well, he's... St what is it with you guys and staring at the ground? It's not that interesting, man. I would shoot right in front of your nose, but I'm afraid I'll hit you, and then your health will go down, and everybody will accuse me of digital animal abuse. I don't want to be the Michael Vick of YouTube, but I would prefer to avoid that kind of termination of my career. Anyways, let's go ahead and give ourselves a trajectory and keep on working towards something out here, because honestly, this whole area is kind of barren. I don't see anything out here. I mean, I see a lot of trees. I see a lot of snow. A sort of configuration of snowflakes as well. I think I see something over there. We'll go look. Let me skin this deer real fast. Huzzah! Skinning a deer takes that fast in real life too, folks. Just bear that in mind. If you're looking and getting if you're looking at getting into deer hunting, it's that easy. It's that quick. It's that simple. Nope, don't let me pull your leg like that. You might end up with a dislocated knee because I am pulling pretty hard right about now. I am forced to do these things when unfortunately there is nothing to talk about in the video. Oh, there's a house. Let's go check it. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Well then, it looks like we've got some kind of like ski resort or something out here. I don't know. And while I would hate to resort to looting, it appears as though we may have to do just that. Yeah, pull it in tight, doggies. Pull it in tight. Let's have a look around. Maybe we'll actually find a place to crash for the night, too, because it looks like it's getting kind of late. I mean, the sky is definitely starting to get that sort of red sky at night thing. I mean, Sailor's Delight on the plus side. Were I a sailor? Meh. Not a sailor, but I'll take Delight. Ooh, hooray. You can take Delight from the evening, but you can't take Delight from a candle. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, so nothing over there. That was definitely a knee slapper. That was a guffaw bringer. What is this? What is that? A milk powder package? We can just eat that straight up. Ugh. That seems like it would be kind of an unpleasant mess. Just scoop a big old pile of powder into your mouth. This did not taste as pleasant as I... Powdered milk sounds like it would be exactly as good as it sounds, honestly. Never had it, so obviously I can't really speak to the truth of that statement, but it doesn't seem too appealing to me. Oh, look, there's arrows. We haven't found anything to propel said arrows yet. However... Oh, look, snow band-aids. Hooray! They're not soggy or anything. They're totally useful. May have to start using my flat... Oh, a water bottle, hell yeah. Okay, so we might need that. In fact, I think it may be time to slake our various fluids and thirsts and other physical human problems. Let me take my compass out here and we'll figure out where our home heading is. I know where we're going, but I just want to be sure. So it's definitely back over that way. I was sort of wondering if maybe this road's going to loop around a little bit, but given the travel time that we have going on, I may avoid the real path. And we may just go straight back up and over the hill. I definitely think we've got a serious, like, smoggy effect going on right here. It's got, like, a Martinez type thing going on. What is that? Something moving out there. I think that's one of the timber wolves. We can go investigate. Let me get the gun out. Hold on. I don't want to hesitate like I did with the boar. There we go. I got the gun out. Is it moving at all? It looks like it's stuck on a tree or something. Hmm. It's a threat to me. That sounded like it was like ghostly. It was a ventriloquist. It was a ventrilo wolf. There we go. It was able to project its voice all the way over here. I don't know if I'll be able to get any meat out of this. And honestly, I feel kind of guilty feeding dog meat to a dog. It's like one of those things where you've got like that artificial corn chow made out of like old cows. And then you feed it to other cows. It's a very, very, it's kind of like a soylent green situation. Wow, look at the fangs on him. Holy shit. Okay. He's got claws and everything. He's got you guys out, man, for sure. You guys are adorable. Look at you. Look at those ears. You guys are absolutely adorable. But him, 
My god, he's got a face like a piranha. It's like a barracuda with fur. Let's go ahead and skin the meat. Oh, we did. We got meat from him. Well, that's good. That's pleasant. I kind of wish that there was a place a little bit closer that we could camp out at. But... We might have to take that risk. I don't know. Let's go down to this set of houses down here, and maybe there will be one that we can camp out in for the night. I would prefer to minimize my travel time. What is that over there? There's another... I don't know if it's like a pop-in building or something, but there's another little thing over there. Hold on. Let's go back this way. These houses look interesting. It's not that dark yet. I mean, do we die if we're out at night? That's the only thing that I would slightly be concerned about, is if we start losing health or something because we're out at night, and it's like freezing to us or something, or the night has claws or shadows that are engulfing us and biting and sort of clamping down. Mm. Not sold on that idea. Not sold on it just yet. I don't feel like I'm sprinting right now. Ah, and that's because I'm overweighed. Lovely. I dumped a bunch of our gear off back at our house, but I think we should probably make for the house. I don't see anywhere out here that's going to be pleasant for sleeping. I mean, honestly, I could pull everybody into one of these cars, and it'd probably be okay for the night. I've slept in a car in the snow before. It wasn't pleasant, but it was doable with a blanket or two. And I feel like I'm probably about to get myself into trouble if I don't, considering I've never faced the night in this game before, and I have no clue what's going to be coming for us. It may spawn a shit ton of wolves at night, and I don't want to go through my ammo like that, so... With only one magazine left to entertain our foes, I think I'll do an about face, and let me check a heading right here with the compass. I don't like how it turns me when I jump out of the... Okay, so the heading is over there. Alright. Let's go ahead and chart that. And I will be investigating anything we find along the way, but I am concerned about the possibility of us getting ourselves into trouble once night falls. The trees are swinging around precariously, which makes me terrified of what the night might bring, but... We're also way out past the roads and whatnot, so... Let's hustle and hope, and also hike our way back. As many H's as we think. I don't know. Hustle a hike and hurry the hell on out of here? There we go. There's a road. I don't know where that might lead, and there's something laying in the ground over there. I don't know if that's the deer that I shot or not. Hmm. Hopefully we don't start to take damage if we're out at night. Either way, we need to go back and save, because I haven't saved our game yet. Don't even know how the saving works. I assume you sleep in a bed and it saves, because I haven't seen a prompt anywhere else, so that's what I'm going to try. But if that works out for us, huzzah shall be raised to the sky in the theme of our H-starting words. Just got back from my jog a little bit ago, like five minutes ago, in fact, and it's actually getting so cold right now. I have this thing that happens with my ears. I don't know if this happens with everybody. I think I've talked about this before in a video. But when my ears get cold, the inside of my ear canal just starts aching, like, really, really badly. I used to have that problem when I was on the swim team, too. If the water was too cold, my ears would just start to hurt like hell. And so... What is that? A golden wolf? Hold on, get the gun out. Get the gun out. Let's go. Okay, so... That one looks a little bit more live than the one that we shot before. I think maybe if we give it a wide berth, we might be able to be okay. I don't know. Let's avoid it for now. I don't want to waste a bullet if I don't have to. I mean, it's more meat, and the meat obviously doesn't rot or anything like it does in Long Dark or anything yet, so... Still... I would prefer to not get my dogs into any tangles right now. I do care about my animals, seriously. My animals are like my family, so... If I can direct them away, I realize that they're pulling my ass up a hill right now. This might not be the best foot to put forward if I'm trying to convince you that I do love my animals. But, these are work animals. They, they gotta do their work. They get fed at the end of the night. It'll be fine. What the hell is that? Like a guard tower or something up there. Hmm. It's getting a little dark for my comfort. Let's take a look at the compass once more. It says our house is actually back that way. I don't know if that's like a water slide? What is that? It looks like it's got like fun accessories on the side. It seems like it's a place for recreational activities. Let's go look. Hold on. We've got adventures to have here. We have adventures! Onwards, doggies. Dribble chin, I promise. This will be worth it. By the way, I'm having an election to see who the president of our dog team is. Go ahead and vote down below. You're free to send me fan mail through my email. Go ahead and do that. You can make, like, posters and stuff which for whichever dog you want to be the president of the dog sled team. 
I was thinking about doing this. I may also announce it in the weekly update for tomorrow. Because I'm recording this on a Saturday. You guys stay here. And ladies, I don't know which of you are female and which of you are male. You all seem to be unendowed. So I'm going to assume that you're all ladies. I mean, I don't know. Either way, it's not... It looks like a water slide, but in fact, it is not a snow-laden water slide. It's not also... It's not a toboggan track, either. It would be a great way to get yourself murked. Oh, look, there's a crossbow. Hey, now. Okay. Alright, well, at least we have a backup plan now. That's a plus. I like having something I can fall back on. When my gun runs out of ammo, but seriously, don't fall back on arrows. That'll injure you. It will put a rather large hole in whichever place. It'll... It will carve out a new orifice for you, regardless of where it falls. So it looks like our house is back that way. So let's go ahead, and I actually think it does go full circle. I actually think the map is not that big. It seems really large just because you're going through so much empty wilderness. But I think that also makes it a little better once you find your way home. It makes you feel like you've accomplished something. It makes you feel good about the whole adventure. And I am feeling pretty good about this game right now. I'm excited to play it when it's finally finished. I'm trying to keep an eye out right now because I feel like there's going to be a lot more hostile animals at night or something. We've seen a lot of wolves. Those wolves, I've seen two like in the last 10 minutes and that's the most wolves I've ever seen in such a short span of time. Granted, I only have about two hours experience with the game so that might not be the case. Is that our house right there? There it is. There's a house over here. I don't know, there's not enough landmarks right now. I think that we could reasonably use the hunter's cabin as a landmark. If we were being careful about it, but let's go ahead and feed the dogs. I'll get some food cooked, we'll have some dinner, and then that'll be probably the place that we'll want to snap off the episode real quick. Go ahead and pull in real tight here. Doggies, it turns you around whenever you get out of that thing and it gets me every time. Okay, so they need to be fed, so let's get inside. I'm going to start up a fire here. I wish you could let them off the... I hope that they implement that at some point where you can let them off the sled and they'll follow you. That'd be kind of sweet. I think that would be awesome anyways. Let's spend some time cooking some meat here okay so I guess we've got cooked meat now on the stove I'm gonna feed the dogs cooked meat because it says we get more mileage out of it so I'm gonna try and eat canned goods I guess for me I don't know I'm gonna try and keep the dogs food supply and my supply separate so that you know I know what I have and I'm not splitting it in between us I'm already splitting a rather meager meat supply in between four hungry dogs and so I'd rather keep their ears perky than allow them to become suspicious of my motives here because they are pretty large dogs. They and they have numbers. They definitely have numbers on me. So especially Dribblechin. I don't trust Dribblechin as far as I can throw him. I wouldn't, but I'm just saying as a Okay, so we've got eight meat right there. Good. I'm going to eat some beans first. Okay. And so that appears to have filled up a very small portion of our meter. Let's feed the doggies. Doggy number 1, Pingle. Hmm. That doesn't appear to have worked. Well, I'm trying to feed you, Pingle. Hmm. Interesting. How come your different how come your meters are all a little different? Doggy? You wanna eat? Is eating implemented yet? Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, it's not feeding them. I wonder if only raw meat is for the dogs, but it says feed them. I don't know. Either way, I suppose we can kind of... I, I wouldn't have cooked it had I known. What is looming up from behind us right now? Hmm... Hold on. Things have happened. Oh no, I'm stuck on screen. That's not good. Well, here, let me see if I can fix this real fast. I think that... Hold on. Okay, so I slept for eight hours, and I think the dog has... You have... You're advised to light... Hold on. There's bad things happening right now, and I can't get them off my screen. You're advised to... This way you'll not spend too many calories while you sleep. Oh, okay. That seems all right. Some things are functioning right now. Hold on. 
There we go. All right, so that's going to save my game. No! Oh, we fixed it. Hooray. Hooray. Huzzah. So, what's up with the dogs right now? Are they, like, starving to death? They totally are. Let me feed you cooked meat, man. I care about you. I seriously tried to provide for you. Okay, so we may have to go out on, like, an operation... Doggy feeding or something? I'm not sure. We'll have to figure this out. Just Maybe they can only eat raw meat right now. It seems possible. It seems possible. Let's go and sleep for another four hours. Oh, good. It's light out. Good. Awesome! So now what we need to do... Oof, we've only got a couple minutes left. Okay, so... Eh. What we're going to have to do... We're in desperate straits right now. What we're going to have to do... Is we got to go out and hunt and see if we can... I should have tried just the raw meat before I did this. I don't know if it's bugged or what's going on, but... It... Is definitely not working. You guys want to talk to me? Anybody? Huh? Let me... I want to feed you because I care, doggy. I care so much. Okay, so I guess... I'm going to store some stuff right here, and what we'll do is we'll come back in the next episode, and we'll try and get the doggies fed. I shouldn't have done that. I have unfortunately made a mistake. I'm going to have to feed myself, so that's what I'm going to do so that I can store some of this stuff in here. There we go. Get rid of some of the heavier stuff. I don't have a whole lot of storage space right now, so... You'll forgive me if I don't really know what to do with a lot of this stuff. I don't think you can actually get rid of your tools, so... I don't know. It looks like our weight is down right now. I'm going to break off the episode right here. We'll come back in the next episode. We'll go out on a desperate hunt and see if maybe we can save the dogs. I had thought that cooking meat would get them taken care of, but unfortunately that has not been the case. I will see you all in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. The game is called Eternal Winter. I will see you all next time. It's in its early access state. You can get it on Steam right now for $7.99 if it appears to be scratching that itch for you. I will see you all in our third episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.